Africa unite, cause we're moving right out of Babylon, and we're going to our father's land, yeah. How good and how pleasant it will be before God and man to see the liberation of all Africa. Has it been said, let it be done. Now these are the words of Robert Nestor Mali, the legendary Pan-Africanist musician. We unveil another great son of Africa, George Padmo. Now, Padma was one of the main ideological and intellectual stalwarts behind the liberation movements of Africa from the 1930s. Of African descent, George Padmore was born Malcolm Ivan Meredith in Trinidad in 1903. Having originally trained as a nurse, he later went to Columbia and Howard Universities to study law. A staunch communist, Padmore became a great friend and political advisor to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, with whom he planned the 5th Pan-African Congress in Manchester, England. It is from this Congress that many of the independence leaders of later years would emerge. A journalist and author, a skilled politician and powerful orator, Padmore was influential in the African liberation struggle. In order to press forward his Pan-Africanist ideals, he became Nkrumah's personal advisor on African affairs in 1957. He died in 1959. He is not forgotten, however. Let this library, therefore, be a shrine of wisdom and patriotism for all African students in this country and elsewhere. May it be an instrument of scholarship for the study of African pupils and an inspiration for those who work towards African freedom and unity. These were the words of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The library, a fitting tribute. When the seasons are ripe to set ablaze the fires of our lives I see my people live out in their research lives again The idea of a research library on African affairs was conceived by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, the late Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and he was prompted by this idea because he wanted a focal point where facts, statistics and reliable comments could be readily obtained to dispel widespread misunderstanding and ignorance about Africa. The first eldest building of contemporary, have a contemporary architectural design. It has an overhanging room on top of the pond. And that is what we call the Ghana Collection. And this Ghana Collection contains every material published about Ghana, published by Ghanaians, whether home or abroad, all the vernacular language books. And then we have underground building under the Ghana collection. And this underground building hosts all the materials brought from Bureau of African Affairs. And also we have all daily papers published in Ghana, all journals in Africa. And because of the research purpose of the library, we bind all these papers and magazines into a book form after the end of every year. The second building is the Africa Room. And the Africa Room contains 66 people. 
I'm standing in front of the Norma Collection. This is a collection of books by African authors, and it was established by a Japanese publisher called Shueshi Noma in 1976 with an amount of £3,000 to encourage African writers so that they can write more about Africa. And a lot of Ghanaians won this award. So in 1987, these books that were won by other Africans as well as Ghanaians were deposited in this library. So we put them up here for up and coming publishers to be encouraged to write more about Africa. This section contains books of George Padmore's personal collection. This is his personal library he had at home. And after his death, it was deposited here as a donation. And because the library was named after him, we deemed it fit to create a corner here for the books. Thus, the main objective of the library has been to collect preserve and disseminate information on Africa in general and Ghana in particular. It has other functions, however. I'm here to collect ISBN numbers for the books I'm publishing. Uh, these numbers are very important in uh, the publishing industry uh, because every book one publishes should have a different number. The numbers identify the country, the publisher, and also the particular book. So if you are looking for a book anywhere in the world and you've got the ISBN number, you can trace where the book was originally published and who published it and uh, you, know, you can uh, get the information you want. It's a very good tool for acquisition librarians. International standard book number, that is ISBN, are numbers issued out authors and publishers to identify their works. Now every country has its own number. Ghana Center is located here and our number is 9988. That is the Ghana number. Then after that we have numbers issued out to big time publishers and then uh, single authors. So we have numbers in um, blocks of 100, 1,000, 10, and then single numbers. This book like this, with the title Tutorials and Statistics for Social and Educational Research by J.Y. Upoku. So the 9988 Ghana number, zero, that's the block from which this single number was given to the author. And then 3482, identifying the author that's J.Y. Upoku and his book. And then the dash to is the book. That is the check digit representing the particular book of the author. So the Pan-African flame keeps on burning and Padmos believe that knowledge is the great equalizer is sustained. Cry knowledge, Africa. The Golden Coast, so called by Europeans, on account of its abundant and copious yield of gold things and treasures of nature, is also of successful mind.